Alright, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. So what you see right here, Jewish guy standing in the middle of the sidewalk waiting because I just left the house. And uh, again, as I step down, you see how he uh, starts walking towards me. Alright, you guys see that. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so yeah, so you know, they got the same idiot on Facebook, you know, again, running this harassment campaign, uh, talking about my unk, or oh, I need to remove my unk from my profile. I'm like, dude, fuck you. Okay, I said, just because you believe in your false religion and you feel threatened by the symbol, by the unk symbol. I said, the unk is not a religious symbol, idiot. All right? Again, comedic science, or comedic spirituality, spiritual science, right? It is, again, nothing that's outside of humans and nature itself that we don't attribute certain things to, okay? The Ankhus doesn't represent nobody dying for my sins and and all this bullshit that you have with Christianity, right? The unk is a sign of rebirth. It's a sign of family, unity, trinity of man, woman, and child, or children. All right? So, again, following European doctrine about the gods of Egypt. Uh, first of all, Kemetic people didn't call uh, their deities uh, gods, right? They were Netarus, right? Netarus, okay? Human uh, principles of, of uh, human beings, nature, life itself. That's what the deities personify, all right? As, it, as with uh, Greek mythology, you, know, you have Zeus as the god, and he's the god of lightning. Uh, he's the personification of lightning in human form. Right? See, before uh, Christianity and Islam, uh, and, Islam and uh, before, I should say, let me, let me do it in order, before Judaism, Christianity and Islam because Judaism came first in terms of the modern religion today then Christianity then Islam all right and Islam didn't come about until the third century all right so for those who just can't seem to get it because they're stuck on this false religious indoctrination this false European concept of their so-called gods, right? The netters of Kemet, the netters and netterus of Kemet were the representation of human emotions, human thoughts, uh, nature in itself, the very aspect of nature, right? That's what they personify, okay? nothing outside of the realm of reality all right i mean you can say uh, uh um osiris or asa who is the god of the afterlife all right again which also represents rebirth but again comedic people understood that there is death and when they speak of, of resurrection, again, associated with nature and within human principles. Nature, in terms of their worship of, of Ra, the sun, right? The sun dies every day, but it sets anew. It becomes resurrected the next day. Just as when we die, if we have children, we are resurrected with while we're still living right 
So again, the resurrection that only has to deal with the, you dying and being reborn. But the reproduction cycle of human beings, the reproduction of human beings. That's what I'll say. If you look at your own children, they look like you, they may look like your, their grandparents, they may, you know, look like a great aunt or what have you. That's because within us, our ancestors are living within our DNA. They are coded within us and who we are, even in our psychology. So sometimes you may look at, at your child and say, hey, it's, you know, he act like his grandfather, you know, because he has that uh, personality trait has been transferred to him, right? So when they rewrote the Bible and they said, about those who believe in me have everlasting life, dummies need to understand that when you give birth, when you carry on your legacy, you're going to have ever everlasting life, okay? So again, when we follow European religious concept, it is a backwards thinking, it is a wrong interpretation. This is why we, because of our condition, the psychological condition, particularly we as black people, uh, you know, we're so messed up in the head. Because we are following concepts that people have interpreted and rewrote based on their psychology, which is not good. Right, which is not good. Excuse me. Oh shit, let me see if I can get this bus here. Ooh, can I get this bus? Oh, it's closing the door, huh? Yeah, closing the door, man. Come on, bro. Right, so again, we have to uh, understand these things, and because we don't, there's a reason why, again, religion will always be used as a tool to manipulate us and control us. Alright? Talk to you guys in a minute.